Before we get into this video, drop a comment down below your favorite part of the video. Maybe it's your favorite fit, your favorite moment, maybe it's just one specific piece. Leave it down in the comments below along with your mesh short size. I'm gonna be giving away a couple pairs of Common High Paisley mesh shorts to a couple of you guys who can drop a comment down below. Got a bunch of different colors, UNC rose, purple, brown, green. I'm wearing the black ones right now. So if you want a chance to win a pair of these for free, just go ahead, drop a comment. Make sure you guys subscribe, like this video. Let's get into it. So because this is the first video, I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of how I piece my fit together. I always start with the pants. These are most of my pants on this middle rack right here. I definitely wanna go with a pair of white pants today. I've been on the all white vibe here pretty frequently. Um, it is summertime too, so helps me stay nice and cool. I got a couple pairs of whites, but I wanna go with these paint splatter dickies right here. Nothing too crazy, just again, a white dickies with some paint splatter on them. These got thrifted, so shout out to the painter that uh, made them look cool for me. After I pick out the pants, unless there's a pair of shoes that I really feel like wearing that day, I'll usually just grab a tee and then just do the shoes last. It used to be the other way around when I was a little more into sneakers. I'd pick out the shoe first and base the whole outfit off of the shoe. Now I'm around shoes so much that it's just kind of like overwhelming. So I'll usually just get the shoes to the last part, make it pretty easy and usually pick something out pretty simple. I'm kind of on an all white vibe today though. So I'm gonna find a white tee. I actually just picked up a good amount of cutoffs from my boy More Heat. He dropped me off a couple. One of them is this vintage Snickers tee cut into a cutoff, it's a little Snickers on the back on a Planet Mars tee. Not really feeling like a Snickers tee today though. so. Probably gonna run with this one right here. It's a pretty thrash Corona vintage tee. This one's on a heavy cotton fruit of the loom tag. Neck's pretty destroyed. Just a big front graphic, nothing on the back. I actually already cropped it. It was pretty long, so I just got a pair of scissors and just chopped it to where I wanted it. So let's see how this looks. I think this looks pretty good. I have three chains on, but I usually only let one pop out. The other one's just kind of stack on my neck. Honestly, a pretty calm outfit, but I'm just gonna throw some suede gazelles on. Pick these up in this orange colorway. I think they were like 80 bucks, so super cheap, great summer shoe. Throw these on, see how they look. All right, boys, and that's the first fit of the series. We'll see you guys for the rest of this week. It's Monday. Kept it pretty calm. Let me know what you guys think of day one. Let's head into Tuesday. Tuesday morning, had a late night last night. Shot some creative shots for the corduroy hats for Common Hype. I'll show you guys a couple of them real quick. These are a couple colorways in the hats. Turned out really good, very happy with them. So we went and shot some creative images for that lookbook. I'll throw a couple of those images on the screen. Woke up late though, gotta put a fit together for today. I picked up a new shoe yesterday, which is not something I do very frequently these days, but this came in in my size. Couldn't say no. Got the off-white Jordan 5. I wouldn't buy these brand new, but we got them used at the store. I got them for a good deal. So let's put a fit together with them. I just recently picked up these Stussy Cargo shorts from their one of their most recent drops. Basic short, two front pockets, two cargo pockets. It's got like a seven or eight inch inseam, so a little longer than what I'm used to wearing, but I think we're gonna try this out for today. I wore pants yesterday, it was kinda hot. These have drawstrings on the inside, but I like to have them poke out a little bit, so I just tie them real tight. Lock it up so they peek out a little bit. One of my things right now with vintage is finding t-shirts that say obscure shit on them. So we got this one right here, Fuck Terrorism, No Fear T. If you guys are new here, I actually collect No Fear. It's one of the only vintage brands that I collect uh, pretty diehard. So this is a really cool piece to throw this on. Just like yesterday's as well, it's got a little bit of a crop on it. I actually bought this one like this. Actually not. I have the same one in black that I bought cut and then I cut this one to match the other one because again, it was just a longer tee. So throw this one on. Just going to the office today, I don't really plan on leaving, so I'm just gonna throw this Kith Needles flannel over it. Really cool piece that I picked up in New York, actually, at the Kith store, so we'll just throw this over the top. I like how this flannel has a longer cut, drops a little bit in the back, but you can still see the front of the tee poking out a little bit. Crops nice, keeps the proportions of the fit nice because the uh, shorts are a little longer than usual, so I feel like it pieces together pretty well. And last but not least, we'll throw on the fives. If I really wanted to, I could probably get away with this. I think a little too much color for the red one, but we have cream, black, brown, all kinds of other colors in these, so maybe I'll throw one on when I get to the store. I just had the blue and the red one here. If I'm lucky, I'll find some time today to get some fit picks in these. Those will be up on my Instagram if you guys want any other fashion content. It's basically all I really post on Instagram. Don't really post too much in my personal life, so make sure you check it out. See you guys for Wednesday. I feel like wearing some pants today. It's been getting hot, so I know my days are limited until I can't wear pants anymore. I think it's already supposed to be like 110 degrees this week, so I'm gonna try and get my last couple wears in. I really love these pants. They're from a brand called Fugazi. Pick these up in LA. They actually hadn't dropped when I went to go pick them up, but the owner was there 
really cool dude. His name's Trevor. Sold me a couple pairs before they even released. So I got both colorways in those. I might run these today, but I've been wearing these a lot. So I might break these out. This isn't really a pant I wear too often, but I think we'll try and do something with these today. I feel like yesterday's fit was kind of loud. It was cool, but I usually like to wear just pretty neutral stuff. So we'll just base something clean and simple off these pants today. Pair of Miata pants. Got this cool stitching on the whole left leg front and back and then it's got like some brown accents in the pockets really dope pair of pants i wore these a couple times last winter but try and get one more wearing this isn't part of today's fit but i also picked up this west coast choppers long sleeve on a ten dollar rack at an event uh, i think it was like last week or the week before but a really sick piece I'll, I'll style this at some point but i just thrown it on this morning after i jumped out of the shower so really cool piece you ever just be finding random shit in your pockets we wear a pair of pants, you have a one in a minute. These pants are fitting crazy. They sit right at the back of my heel, so I could wear high top or low top with these. I'll probably end up with a low top today, but we'll pick out a t-shirt. I'll probably go with something blank. Should just have a couple off-white blanks in here. Go with one of these strawberry blanks. Nice light tee. Pants are heavy, so this should offset the heat a little bit because I'm probably gonna get a little hot today. These tees are expensive for blanks, but they do have a lot of little details distressing on the, the neck, the sleeve, the bottom hem and everything. So we'll see how this looks. I don't messing with this. Nice, clean, and simple. Shout out to my boy Colin in LA for the sneakers today. Stephanie Workers Club. Pulled these from the back for me. I pulled up on Kith and uh, my boy Matt grabbed a pair of the black ones. Asked him if he had any other colorways. He pulled this one from the back. Really solid cream and black colorway in these. I used to collect Vans a very long time ago. One of the biggest videos on this channel before I kind of privated everything was a Vans collection video. So these kind of give me Vans vibes with a little hint of something more higher end. And they honestly just look really good on feet. Last thing, can't forget the keys. Always end up on the belt because I lose my shit every single day. So if they're on me, I can't lose them. As I've gotten more into clothing and styling myself over the years, I focus more on the proportions of the outfit and how overall everything is fitting versus what I'm actually wearing. I feel like everyone goes through that phase where they're trying to wear all the coolest shit, which there's definitely times for that and there's ways to mix it into what you're doing. But overall, if your clothes don't fit you well, then the outfit's just not gonna look as good. So this is one of those fits, it's a little baggier, but I feel that the proportions are on scale and I think everything tied together really good. So that's Wednesday's fit. All right, we're gonna do pants again today. I survived the heat yesterday, so I wanna run it back. I haven't worn these in a minute. I'll run with these today. Some rework, 25 workwear collection. Common height, more heat of last winter. Did the screen print of the bullseye on the back and then we embroider jackets. This winter, this channel is going to go crazy because my winter fits go crazy. I love these pants so much and I'm very happy with how that whole collection came out. So if you guys haven't checked that out, I'll link the lookbook down in the description. It was probably one of my favorite lookbooks we've ever shot. Um, the video turned out amazing. Photos turned out amazing. Overall, collection did great, sold out, so go check that out. Gonna pair them today with this vintage Ukraine Harley Davidson piece. The front is actually all embroidered, and then the back you have a big screen print with the orange. Classic Harley colors. This shirt's one of those shirts you let your boys wear, and then you don't see it for a year and a half, so I just got it back. I was excited to throw a little fit together with it. Thanks for giving it back, Drew. And then we're gonna pair this with probably my most worn Jordan 1 in my whole collection. Maybe even sneaker overall. I haven't worn them in a minute, I had to give them a break, but New York to Paris, Jordan 1 SB Highs. One of my favorite shoes, honestly goes with everything. And then if you guys can see, they got a little bit of orange details on the edges of the leather. Subtle accent, try not to match everything too much, but make sure everything goes together. I keep forgetting to bring home the corduroy hats. I should probably throw one on. I need a haircut. I'm gonna grab one next week. But one of the more simple outfits this week, again, neutral colors. Everything is accenting each other, but not fully matching 100%, which allows everything to complement one another. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Could be one of my favorite pairs of pants. The lighting's kind of ass, but I'll try and put a picture of these from online on the screen so you guys can see the details in these pants, but it's a pair of Stussy double knees and they have like a bunch of designs lasered into them. So I think I'm gonna mess with these today. Start to fit off with these today. I feel like I've been wearing white tees all week, so maybe I'll switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna go with one of these. It's like a pretty plain J, no fear tee. Got an embroidered no fear on the front with the classic eyeballs that you guys will see a lot of. I got a lot of cool no fear in the collection that have the eyes on them. And then I got this tee right here. It's like a front engine graphic. Back is this crazy shit dragon on it. Really cool color too. And both of those were on uh, 
old no fear tags. I don't know, let's try them both on today. I think I like this one, but I'll just try the other one on. Gray is cool, but I'm gonna go with the other one. I figured out a pair of shoes for this fit, but I definitely need to put a hat on today. This is from uh, Flashback USA, shout out to them. Uh, smaller brand, but they gifted me this hat at one of the events. Uh, most of my shoes are in the other room, so I'll be right back. All right, I think we'll go with these Noter Converse. Got a really cool like quilted pattern on the inside, gray on the outside, cream laces. Throw these on, see how these look. These pants are shorter, so I almost have to wear a high top like anytime I'm in them or else they just sit mad weird on my shoes, but. Friday fit, got two more days left in the series, Saturday, Sunday, and then I got a little outro for you guys at the end of this video. About to go get to work, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Today is Saturday, I wanna pick out my tee first today. Bunch of graphics that I haven't worn in a minute. Got this hidden New York tee, I haven't worn it since I picked it up, damn near, so we'll pull this one out today. Start the fit off with this. Oh shit. Man, do I wanna wear pants though? I'm honestly not doing shit today, so this fit really isn't that deep, but I don't know. I might get into something. Can't get caught lacking. I'm gonna try these shorts. I haven't got a chance to wear these yet. These got uh, reworked by Crystal over at More Heat. Took two different pairs of pants and then turned it into one pair of shorts. So, I don't know, let's see what these look like. Ah, uh, never mind. that is not gonna look good. These shorts are fire though. I will wear these at some point. Damn, maybe I'll rock some, some drawers today. I haven't worn these in a minute either. SP Pine Green 4s. Keep it cool today. Again, I'm not really doing shit, so I'm not. Gonna overthink this one. Damn, bro, I'm getting thick. These shorts are not <laughs> not stretching like they used to. I feel like you can't really ever go wrong with blue denim and a white tee, so that's what we're gonna rock with today. I'm just gonna head into the office and knock some work out, nothing crazy. One more day left in the series. I'm excited to wrap this thing up, get it edited for you guys, and then ultimately see how you guys like this video. So, see you guys tomorrow. Today is Sunday, last day of the week, first day of the week, depending how you look at it. I think next week I'm gonna start this video on a Sunday, just so it makes a little more sense. It is Father's Day, so I got a couple of my dad's old vintage Chicago Bulls tees, and I think I'm gonna rock one today. I gotta go hang out with him. And uh, yeah, let's put a fit together. I love the vintage starter tees because they always got the patch on the sleeve right there. Can't show you the back tag because it got ripped off. This is one of my dad's old tees. Big Chicago fans in my family. A little big, my dad's a big dude, but we'll see how this one fits me. For the pants today, I kind of want to just go with black, but I feel like I've been doing that all week. Maybe break out a camo for the one time. Probably won't wear these again until uh, next fall or this upcoming fall, so we'll get one more wear in. sense break out the breads today i put in a bunch of work on these if you guys can tell by the leather and the toe box They're still holding strong gonna rock these today pops also passed me down some really cool championship hats from back in the day i don't think i'm gonna wear one today but i just figured i'd show you guys since i'm on the topic of shit i've taken from my dad probably gonna do no hat but yeah it's the father's day fit happy father's day dad if you're watching you're probably not but if mom makes you watch happy father's day but I'm not gonna cut this because uh, it's got a little nostalgia to it, so I don't wanna take it to the chopping block. Again, drop your favorite fit of the week down in the comments below. I got a little outro for you guys here coming up, so I hope you guys do enjoy it. If you don't stay for it, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you guys next week. All right, man, that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a project that I've wanted to take on for a little bit now. I've had the idea for a while. I know that this channel has just kind of been sitting dead for a minute since we started Common Hype. That's been my full focus on growing that as big as we possibly can. Um, that is still the main goal, but this is just kind of a little thing I wanted to do on the side, mostly just for the people that have been hitting me up for the past couple years, asking me for content like this. So hopefully that's kind of filling the void for you guys that want to watch as well as just keeping me creative. And I got this house to myself, so I figured I might as well do it because it's not weird to be talking to yourself in the kitchen at 8.30 on a Saturday. I think with this channel, I'm most excited for the pieces that I'm gonna design 
and curate with the team and bring to life and be in my closet and hopefully at some point your guys' closets and you'll know how to style those pieces with the pieces that, you know, are in your closet already. I want this channel to remain authentic in the things that I'm actually wearing and doing and taking inspiration from, um, but as well just being able to give you guys an insight on, you know, my style in today's day versus the last two years, which it's developed and changed a lot. And that's just based off of my personal preference. So if you saw something in this video and you're like, that outfit's ass, it could be ass to you. That's that's cool. I, I clearly fucked with it, but um, obviously my goal is not to make everyone happy. You can't, it doesn't exist, especially being on the internet for the last couple of years as much as I have been. I don't know what you guys should expect from this. I'm gonna keep it at basically a video similar like this on a weekly basis. Um, just due to time reasons, but if there's a way for me to kind of mix up the content a little bit Switch it up and give you guys some different types of videos um, Just drop a comment down below of what you guys want to see but mainly I'm just gonna be posting What I want to post taking some ideas from you guys with what you want to see But I know for the most part I think what I put together for this video is what you guys have been wanting to see I know you guys are probably just gonna be appreciative for anything. So for the few people that watch this I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Gonna be pretty relaxed, chill videos you guys can just kind of watch, play on a Sunday, um, and just hang out, get your ideas for the week on what you guys are gonna wear. But yeah, man, nothing too crazy, but I'm excited to uh, start doing these videos again. I'm not just dressing like this for the videos either. I don't really post anything of uh, my day-to-day -day life. Uh, not really even on Instagram. I've been posting a little bit more, but humbly, I put this shit on every day and uh, walk outside, go to work, come back home, and that's what I do. But at least if I can uh, have a platform to put it on, a uh, platform I'm comfortable on, which is YouTube, just being myself, doing my thing, being authentic with you guys, uh, I think it'll play out and be fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love. I'm gonna give away a couple pairs of shorts like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So just drop your size down below, pick a couple of you guys to send some shorts to. Appreciate all the love you guys have shown, Common Hype um, and myself and all the boys over the last three years, we're coming up on three years now, so my little appreciation to you guys is bringing this channel back and putting some content on it that you guys will fuck with on a weekly basis. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. See you in the next one.